Welcome to the next lab session. Today we are going to see MOSFET as an amplifier. Uh, basically we are going to use an N-channel MOSFET. If you see the structure of an N-channel MOSFET, we have a P-type semi uh, semiconductor and uh, we have two N plus regions diffused across and we have an SiO2 layer and on the top of it we have a metal gate. So we will be taking three terminals, gate, source and drain. So uh, if you see the working, you basically you need to apply a positive gate voltage with respect to source in order to create a channel between source and drain. The minority charge carriers will be attracted towards the surface and there will be a channel created between source and drain. Now by application of positive drain with respect to source, the current starts flowing from source to drain. So we have a drain source current, what you call as IDS, right? Now, if you see the characteristics of the uh, MOSFET, you know, for a fixed gate source voltage, the current starts increasing, then the channel will be uh, pinched off and the current will be constant. So we're going to uh, operate MOSFET in this particular region where the current is constant. If you take in this region, VDS will be much more greater than or equal to VGS minus VT. So we need to ensure that VDS is greater than or equal to VGS minus VT. Now we come to the design part of the MOSFET. We're going to assume VDD as 15 ohms and my threshold voltage as 2 ohms and the transconductant parameter as 50 milliamp and ohm square. And I'm going to assume the drain resistance as 470 ohms. Now we are going to uh, uh, assume that the drop across my VD is nothing but the half of my supply voltage, so which is 7.5 ohms. And now I can calculate my drain current, which is VD by RD. And uh, since we know RD and we, since we know VD, and the drain current will be 16 milliamps. Once you know the drain current, we are trying to calculate the gate source voltage by using the saturation region current equation where IDS, ID or IDS is equal to K into VGS minus VT the whole square. Now given K and the given value of ID and VT, we can calculate VGS which comes to around 2.6 ohms. And in the input side, we are going to assume that the drop across the voltage VG, that is the gate voltage with respect to ground is 1 by 3rd of VDD which is 5 ohms. Now from this we can calculate what is Vs. Vs is nothing but uh, you know Vgs is Vg minus Vs. So Vs is nothing but uh, Vg minus Vgs which comes to 2.4 volts. And also we can calculate Vds since we have no we know Vd and uh, we, we know uh, Vs and we know Vd. We are going to calculate Vd minus Vs. From this we can calculate the source resistance value which is R is equal to Vs by ID which is around 150 ohms. If 150 ohm is not available, you can use a 220 ohm resistor. And uh, the potential divider here, uh, R2 by R1 plus R2 should be 1 by 3 since we have assumed that the gate voltage should be 1 by 3rd of the VDD. So you can suitably assume the value of R1, R2. Uh, since the base, the gate current is there is uh, gate current is 0, you can you assume a large value of resistor. So R1 equal to 100K and R2 equal to 47K which gives me approximately uh, the ratio 1 by 3 for R2 by R1 plus R2. Now the frequency uh, we are going to uh, assume as 20 hertz as a minus 3 dB cutoff frequency which comes F equal to 1 by 2 pi Rn into C. And you can calculate C by given uh, the value of F and R is nothing but uh, R1 parallel to R2. So C you can calculate using 0.1 microfarad. So now let us see the uh, circuit connections. So basically, uh, I can mesh. I have set the. Uh, so this is the circuit of a MOSFET, which I MOSFET as an amplifier, and uh, I have set the input to around uh, two volts, and. Uh, you can see the output which is getting amplified it's almost one two three four four into one is uh, almost four volts and you can vary the frequency and uh, and uh, find the uh, the gain of the amplifier 
like what how you do in the first few experiments for the various value of uh, frequency you will note down the output voltage and calculate the gain v0 by vi thank you